Hey, how you doing today? My name is Relia and thank you so much for stopping by. Today we are playing Ori and the Will of the Wisp and I'm going to show you how to find the dash ability. It's great because it makes you a lot faster. It also helps you clear large gaps. It is it's a really good one. I, I, I just love the speed, mobility, and so you're going to want to stick around for this one. All right, so we're going to be starting this one right here on the map. You'll see this is that spot where there was that uh, stone rock frog looking thing and we just like got the two eyes we just pick up the spirit arc bow weapon and so now that we just opened this we're, we're gonna go into the mouth we're gonna go into the belly of the beast if you will and this is twillin he will sell you some stuff a really good vendor definitely worth checking out watch out for this rock but if you get on top of it there's a little something something for you a little little bonus i'm gonna skip it for now so that way i can get all of those in a in a future video so we're gonna head over to the right and we need to make our way up and around eventually what we're gonna end up doing is lowering the the poison water level and then once we do all of that we will then be able to eventually make our way um, where we need to go I missed it I missed my jump all right so let's try to jump again okay we're okay we're okay Gotta pause just long enough to trigger that. Grab the switch. We're gonna make our way all the way down through the water. Well, not really through the water, where the water once was. And what I don't understand is how how do all these uh, animals, if you will, how did they survive where all this poison was? There's gonna be all these enemies and stuff over here and I, I just, I don't get it. How were you even over here? From here, we'll make our way to the left. And as in the long run, we're going to end up doing the same thing as far as we need to get. So as you can see, there's a big rock up at the top. And so we need to get that rock down. This is That's probably the most confusing thing of the whole thing, is figuring out that you can get that rock. And, and don't, don't be afraid to, to shoot these flying enemies from ooh, a little while away. Watch out, that rock can actually crush you. Um, so don't don't let that happen. We're gonna push this rock up a little ways. And then we're gonna hit this eye here, but let me, uh, let me get some health first. I almost, I almost messed that one up real good. All right, now hit this eye, bring the rock over. There we go. And so this rock is going to end up pressing onto this button. And again, this rock will crush you if somehow you get underneath it. So just, just be careful of that. And so if you just need a quick refresher to see where it is that we went, maybe I went just a little bit too fast. There we go. This is the, the rock mouth. We made our way up. We hit the switch. We came around and now we're heading to the left still. So it looks like there's not much we can do until we hit the eye. Ooh. Ooh, I thought that thing was going to get stuck over there. Alright, make your way up. It's nice that the game always gives you plenty of this spirit energy, so don't be afraid to use it. And then shoot this one up top quickly, because this one comes down. That's kind of that's kind of like a little bit of a tricky spot. Not hard, but I don't know. It's easy to mess up the first time. And again, we got it. We're just gonna keep going down, following the path, following the water, following these uh, these little puzzles. That's what that's like. All Ori is. It's just a, it's just a fun little puzzle game, right? And watch out for for this guy when he, when he ends himself. He he tends to explode. So with this, we'll then make a running jump. And we can just barely make it to this switch. And this is a path. So this lets us out. And the reason that we're leaving is now that we have, we've lowered the water level. And now we're trying to get back out. And all of this to open one of the first doors that we saw in the earlier room. Oops. I forgot that was there. There we go. Nice and easy. Sometimes I try to go too fast and it ends up not working out for me. 
but we're gonna be okay. We're gonna get through this together. All right, we don't need that one anymore. Come back out. So like I said, like, like how is this animal thing, like how is he living underwater in the, the poison water, huh? That's what I wanna know. How, how are you down there? You, I understand, you're, you're made of poison, but what, what about these other ones, huh? So that was just for some extra monies. Make our way over to the right. So once we get to here, we're gonna drop down just a little bit further. Oop! Ori! There we go. It looks like a giant mouth with all these spikes. The other thing with the spirit smash ability, other than being able to use a down B to break open paths, see these rocks over here on the left side? They look like they can be broken open. Well, with the spirit smash, boom, you can break them open and you can get the ability right there. Okay. There's a bunch of flying enemies around here, so it can be a little bit tough. Be sure to, to just use your, your sniping abilities as needed. Um, if you come over to the left, this is an area that you can't get by until you have the dash ability. So we're going to actually make our way back over to the right. Okay. Keep making our way over to the right. And as you can see right here, it almost looks like we can make our way up here. But you, you, you can't. There, there is no way. It's because it's foreshadowing that you're going to end up getting that dash ability. So we're going to keep pressing our way down. And we can't even make our way over there yet. Again, dash ability ends up opening up quite a bit of stuff. So we have to get this door opened up here. So we're going to press on. Another boss thing. So get this thing to, to run into a wall, and then you got a nice big opening to just attack it from behind. Um, you can hit it as it turns around, but it's just much, much easier for to wait for it to, to run into a wall. And from here, you can go ahead and hit the switch. That opens up the door up top. You know where we're going with this. You know. So now, we need to make our way back up and around. In order to do that, come over this way. Here we go. Door is now open. Go ahead and drop down. And this right here is the tree where we're going to absorb the light and get the dash ability super super helpful it's going to make us much faster and be able to clear very very large gaps it is awesome i mean just just check this thing out we're like boom boom just ori can ori's got legs now look at that look at that who can stop ori when we're moving like that fast so you can't do it twice in the air you can only do it once but ooh. Look at that. Clear some large gaps with that. So anyway, thank you guys so much for stopping by. My name is Relia. If you need even more help with Ori and the Will of the Wisps, or you just want to come around for the live streams, be sure to subscribe. My name is Relia, and I'll talk to you again more real soon. Thank you. Bye.